So if you ever wondered what wake turbulence from a Boeing 737-700 can do to a little Cessna 172 Skyhawk, well, stay tuned. Alright, welcome back. Here I am flying and performing pattern work with my instructor at the Orange County John Wayne Airport in Southern California. That's KSNA, Kilo Sierra November Alpha. John Wayne is a busy class Charlie airport that caters to everything from general aviation aircraft to large commercial airliners, as well as a busy helicopter base. The tower regularly cautions each pilot on approach if there's a risk of wake turbulence from a jet landing parallel to where we'll be landing. Just so you know, the other runway, uh, 20 right, is only 400 feet away from the runway on which we'll land. We'll be landing to the left of where the 737 lands on runway 20 left. The 737, which by the way is Southwest Flight 3744 from Phoenix, will land about 30 seconds or so before we encounter the turbulence. The wind, like on most days, is a gentle 6 to 8 knot breeze coming from our 2 o'clock approximately. The significance of that wind and direction is that the invisible vortexes created by the airliner on their approach are carried by the wind directly into our flight path. So now let's listen to my conversation with the tower. They're asking if I have a visual on the approaching aircraft. And I acknowledge that, and then they warn me about the wake turbulence. So say Mike Echo, traffic Boeing 737 now, two mile final, two power 900 feet. Traffic inside, 348 Mike Echo. So say Mike Echo, maintain your separation, caution, turbulence from 20 left, clear for the option, based on preview discretion. Clear for the option, 20 left, 348 Mike Echo. I'm going to fast forward to the point where I'm turning base to final, at which point the 737 has just touched down. The big red arrow is the 737 on its landing roll and then uh, taxiing. We've got to go over the sky again. Just as we fly over the 4 or 5 uh, freeway, you'll notice yeah, okay. the airplane yeah. banks slightly to the left, uncommanded, and then a quick hard over to the right, uncommanded, which is the, uh, the result of the vortexes hitting the airplane. Here's the first wave of turbulence, and then the second. Oh. <laughs> that was wake turbulence. Keep, we got this landing. It's good. Power idle. Right, we have the runway we made. Let's runway. get that energy out. Okay. Good. I'm gonna hit her. I'm gonna hit her, but I'm not. Exactly. Wait. Wait. The small red arrow that just quickly went by was pointing to the windsock, which indicated the wind was blowing from the right runway to the left runway, carrying the vortexes with it. Ample power. Oh, I like that. That was good. Thank you for watching.